Hello, this is the six in my series of quick tips and things you could miss in Beaver Builder. In this one, I'm looking at the Beaver Builder theme and I'm trying to make the Beaver Builder themes customizer more user friendly. The things I'm sharing in this video aren't exclusive to the Beaver Builder theme. In fact, I'm just sharing and explaining a number of code snippets that can go in your child themes functions PHP file. And some of these will work on any theme and others could be amended to your particular theme. So let me show you what I'm trying to do in this site. I'm in the customizer and you can see the defaults that come with the Beaver Builder theme. Here are all the sections and panels, but you'll see here that there's a note added by the Beaver Themer plugin telling me that my headers and footers have been laid out with Beaver Thema. It says on this page, but in fact, it's site-wide as it often is with me. And that some of these settings may not apply. So what I want to do is to remove all of the panels that are not needed and also remove this note here. So typically I have been removing the presets, which are theme presets. I'm gonna revisit this in another video, but here I want to remove the header and the footer. And if I go into the content section here, you'll see most of the options relate to singular and archive pages. Again, something I typically now would style with Beaver Thema. I could live with the content background being the default, I think, of white. And the only other thing that I need in here could be this light box. Well, that is the ability to add in a small image to your blog post or page and have the larger version of that image expand in the light box. But that has just been added also to Beaver Thema since version 1.2. So I could probably remove all of this section here what I would also like to do is to change some of the naming. Mostly I want to get rid of this for my own cognitive loader. It's just easier on me if I see less options, but also there are clients that might be coming into the back end occasionally. And I'd like these to be explained better. So I'd like to change this general to branding because that kind of makes more sense to me as that is mostly branding things. I also want to remove this section within this panel, social links which is only something that's used by the header. It's in the top bar section of the header of the theme. One other thing that I would like to do is to be able to change the color. So let's just go into the color palette we've got here. And you'll see it's got the WordPress defaults here. I would like these to match what is in the page builder itself should a client ever need to make any changes. So fortunately for us, there are a couple of good Beaver Builder knowledge base articles that show us how to do this. One on removing panels and sections and another one on adding presets to the customizer. So that's what I've used here. You could Take all that you need from this. If you're not familiar with adding code, you don't need to repeat this whole section. You just need to put in a new line that looks exactly like this within this one function. And it explains here you need to change things depending on whether they are a section or a panel. So you will change this and then you just need the ID of your particular section and panel and they're all listed in this chart over here. So it's a pretty easy thing to do. And that's exactly what I've done. One thing to quickly mention on this is that in the Beaver Builder customizer, you will see there's import and export. And when you click on that, that invites you to load in a plugin by the Beaver Builder team that allows you to save or import and export all your customizer settings. Now you can hide it using this, but if you've turned on the plugin because it's designed to work on other themes, it will just add it back. So if you do that and it's not disappeared, then that's the reason why you've probably got that plugin turned on. Okay, let me go back over to my article now. So we'll just go back down here and we're gonna take the snippets and I'm gonna add them to the child themes functions PHP. So as you can see on this one, I've got the header, footer, content, the WordPress widgets, which typically I'm not using these days, presets, that social links, again, that was hidden away. And here is something that you can use. This isn't included in the Beaver Builder article, but this is how you can rename those different panels or sections. And I've put them there. So you can see I've got heading text and body text, and I've 
added branding to the general panel that we've got here. So I'm just going to take all of this and add this in to, I'm here in my child theme functions PHP. I'm just going to add this to the bottom here and update this. We'll go back to my post and the next thing I wanted to do was to hide the theme and notice because after I've removed all the things that don't apply I don't want a notice telling me they don't apply and I had to check this one out with the beaver builder team itself I found a nice snippet that allowed which was designed to add CSS so you can use this one if you want to style your customizer but I just wanted to hide that section and I asked the team whether this was the best thing to do and they said yes as there's no hooks at the moment for that this is fine and in fact they amended my code slightly so thanks to Jamie so to anonymize it so we'll just add this and this will remove that note so I'm just gonna pop that in below we'll just do another update and finally the last bit is to add this color palette which is in the other article over here now what you need to do here is you need to find the hexadecimal values for your palette the ones that you've got in the beaver builder plugin and add these manually here so I'm just gonna add this in but I actually use something different and I'll just mention this at the end so let's go in and add this and do a final update and then we'll go back there we are so that's slimmed down the options i've left important export on there uh, let's have a look in our general branding as you can see here heading text body text over here my social as gone and if we go into the color palette now we'll see here that it's got the colors that i've set in and we're using here so let me quickly show you what I am using to do the same thing with the color at the moment I'm actually using the beaver.teams plugin their pro plugin and they've got an add-on to this plugin called color sync let me just find this and this automatically syncs up what's in the page builder with what's in the customizer and I think this is really handy if you're not familiar with this plugin it's I think it's just coming out of beta at the moment I'm not an affiliate for it so this is not a promotion I just think Tom has been providing I did a video earlier on one of his free plugins that he has and I think, you know, his work is really exceptional. A lot of the stuff that he's been doing has now gone into a version 2.2 of Beaver Builder. So I really like the ideas. One big selling thing for him, and I'll do a video on it, is his bulk updates. This is the ability within the page builder to update the well just any kind of setting you like I'll need to explore this more but I just wanted to give a call out to Tom on this because I think this is a really excellent idea and saves all of that manual work I did speak to him before this and he let me go over to my article now he gave me a discount so if you are interested in this if you use the coupon junction he says this will last until the end of the year. It gives 10% off this. As I say, I'm, I'm not an affiliate. There's nothing in it for me. I just really value the work that he's doing. And even if a lot of it is going into the Beaver Builder core because they're great ideas, I am really kind of quite keen to support Tom and the ideas that he's coming up with. Anyway, that's, I think, is enough from me. I hope this video was useful to you. As always, please give me a thumbs up on YouTube because it really encourages me and consider subscribing to the channel. Thanks very much for your time and I hope to talk to you again in another video. Bye-bye.